What's up guys, this is Fernan here with another little tutorial and this is how to sort of rig cars and sort of edit them in order to open doors, move the wheels, etc, etc. Um, now this is a model that I downloaded from the three 3D models and it's an Audi um, V6 and it looks like a pretty nice model but most people will open it up in Cinema 4D as I am now and you know the, the problem with this is it's got V-Ray plug-in which I don't have so I'm just going to delete that and the textures don't work either so I'm just going to remove all the textures as well and now what we've got is a solid base car pretty much um, now luckily for this the doors are actually alright so um, that's okay. The only downside to this model it has not got an interior. Um, but I will go through how to do wind windscreen wipers and all that. So uh, first of all, what we want to do is we want to texture it. So if we go to create, load material preset, and we can come into car paints, um, uh, a glossy a glossy red will pick. And we will add that onto um, doors. Okay, so now we've got to be careful here. We have to drag that onto the next one. Yep. And um, what's the next one? The third one along the doors. Okay, so we just want the body paint now. The front fenders. Got that. A hood. Um, the roof. So basically, we're just loading the the um the texture onto each of the. Sorry, I was just concentrating. Then. We're we're basically load, loading the texture onto the the base of the car. So not the wheels, just the metal. metallic bits around it so the trunk um, front fender or bumper there we go um, and may I don't know the mirrors now nah, we'll keep the mirrors a different color so then what we're gonna do we're gonna hmm, what other colors could we do a white chromey type look. So let's try and find a chrome um, metal metal chrome, and we'll add it to the grill. And maybe the Audi logo. And we'll just add the chrome onto the rest of the car ish anyways um, we won't do any more for that uh, any more chrome the, we'll add chrome onto the rims when I can find the rims there we go there's rim number three rim number two and um, we'll just do the rest of the rims um, if I can, there we go, rim number one, and that's our rims sort of done. What we're going to do now is get a black sort of synthetic um, texture for the tyre. So create, load material preset, visualize materials, synthetic, and we'll go to rubber matte black, um, and we'll add that onto the tyres. But we're going to looks like we're going to need to edit that because. In my opinion, that's a grey, not a black. Yes, so if we just go into the... Change that to a black and then bring the luminance right down as well. That's a bit better. I'm just going to get the basic colour on, on it. And we'll do that for the rest of the tyres. And, um... Hmm... 
we'll just create another texture. Um, we'll take specular off and click transparency, and we'll back wipe that to ninety five percent, and we'll put that on the windows. Windshield, no, we'll side windows. Put on side windows. And the windows itself. Ah, yeah. And that will go on the door, but the first little material that comes up. And we'll do this just quickly for the headlights. There we go. And um, these are going to be red, but we're just going to do the taillights the same color for now. Um, Again, the chrome onto the Audi logo, chrome onto the other logo, the text. Um, there we go. So basically, we're just setting up the car ready to be sort of rigged. Um, and what you could do is you can also put the synthetic rubber on the little background bits, such as the bottom. We just hide the headlight behind and we can texture these bits which I'll keep um, we'll keep it as chrome sorry I'm not really talking that much just because I'm just concentrating just trying to find the textures but yeah and then we can unhide the the, uh, what do you call it, the headlight cover um, and we'll add the synthetic look onto the mirrors as well so we'll just drag that on just as, as long as we've got everything that's visible um, covered now I'm going to put the black synthetic on the number plate as well because I'm not even going to bother sorting that out so, oh, the rear window, I didn't do that one Alright, so I think that will do for now. Um, and if I render it, it's not going to be a perfect. I've obviously missed out brake pads and shit. But if I just render that, then it's got a sort of a basic car. Now, if we sort out the wheels first, what we want to do is we want to select every part of the wheel. So you want that, that, every visible bit. Hold shift and click every single bit that you can visibly see, right click and go to group and what you want to do is you want to hide that and as you can see we've left bit, bit, left bit, ugh, bits behind so what we'll do is we'll grab the rest which we will only just select this um, and the reason for that is because the other bits will stay there because uh, it's a suspension and we'll just drag it into that null group that has been created which will be the front left tire oh wait there's something else as well Let's add a chrome onto that and that can go in the front left tire as well and now that's hidden so we've got the suspension wait, oh. and basically the sort of like an axle there um, and we've got a tire so I'll only do it for one of the tires because it would just be wasting time otherwise so if we drag that out of the Audi folder completely, hide the actual the Audi itself, and we click on the front tire, what we want to do is we want to get this axis or this little point in the very middle. I don't know. I'll just move it out of the way first. That little white point here where my mouse is now, that needs to be in the dead center of this tire. So if we oh, I can't remember where to go now, um I need a button layout, but I cannot remember whereabouts it is. Object manager, because um, what I'll do. No, I cannot find it. Um, there's a little. Oh shit! What have I done? Oh, there we go. Um, we could just reset the um, 
I think it's called PW. No, I can't remember. But it resets the position of this to the dead center of it, but I don't know how to do that because I I've lost my um. It's, it's a something manager, but nothing wants to come up. So what we'll do is we'll have to do it by hand. And what you do is check this little button, make sure the move button's on and this button's selected. We can now move this around and we want to get that pretty much dead in the center. So if we sort of, well, if we're going to top view like we are now, it doesn't really matter whereabouts it is along the red. It could be on the very side, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to put it roughly in the center. But along the blue, it does matter. But to do that, we're going to go into side view. Actually, side view would be a lot easier, actually. And we can just drag it straight to the middle. Um, and if you zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, you can actually see where all the points meet up. Keep zooming in until you can't zoom in no more. And put that straight dead in the center and then check that off. Go to top view and just make sure that's in center. Okay. So now that should be dead in the center. When I come to rotate the wheel, it's a perfect spin wheel. If, for example, you're slightly off like that, your wheel will be going round in like sort of an eggy type shape. It's not it's not going straight, is it? So make sure it is in um, position and that's how to do the wheels and you can sort of group them differently um, I'm going to now do the windscreen wipers which I will bring out to the front I'll put the tyres back in and hide Just add my synthetic textures to the wipers what we need to do is we need to separate these wipers if you wish um, now, I prefer to, um, because we want two sort of rotating points. Um, we want one here and one here. We don't want one for both of them, otherwise it will just go all fucked up. So, select it, select the little selection tool, and check the sort of the face button. And then click, if, if, you, this, if you can't see this here, click on this button again, it will appear. And where it says only select visible elements, just check that off, and just select one whole wiper. Once you've selected every single face, right click, click split, um, click on one of the axes, make sure like one of the arrows turns white, left click once and delete. Um, so now we've got two different sort of models, but like we've just kind of split it. We've got one which will be the, the left wiper and this one called the right wiper. Because if you were sort of facing that way, looking at it, um, this is the left, this is the right. So, now what we need to do is we need to animate them. Um, first of all, we need to get our thing in position again. So, we just check that again. And as you see, it's at a funny angle, this one. So, if we want to go to the rotation and select all these to naught, click enter, it will be a little bit easier because it will turn it into like a sort of a right angle. Um, and we'll go into like front view, we'll sort of bring it around here and then um, zoom out a bit, oops, too far and then across a little bit and that should be in the center of this little handle bit which is fine and then what we want to do is we want to rotate it so as you can see here it's sort of like a there's like a line isn't there coming here we want to sort of match it to that we want the blue or anything you can rotate it on the green or the blue line and we just want to make this line match with this so it's pretty much parallel which that I think is all right check off click onto the normal move tool and let's try and rotate it so that looks all right doesn't it so if we do that with the same on the other one, just to prove it again, uh, just, uh, prove it, show you again, it's at a funny angle, so we'll hit not on all the rotations. Bearing in mind we want this selected, click enter, go.
go into all the different views and sort of put it in the center of the sort of the bit where you want it to be rotating at. And then we want to rotate it around the point where it's pretty much parallel with the model itself. So that sort of looks all right. But we do have a bit of a problem. If you come here, look, we might want to just move that slightly, slightly up, just so it's parallel for this as well. And we want to do that for this one, which this one's actually fine, but the other one we just needed to turn. Just make sure that all looks pretty much fine. Um, and then you can go on to animate in the window screen wipers. And you can pretty much, you know, rig lots of things on your car, the mirrors. But is it, what you may have to do is, it does get a bit awkward, is having to split the object. So come in here, click the face, select all this, split it, and then yeah. reposition this axis and then start animating it. Um, but it does get a little bit complicated at times with some objects. Um, but these are sort of the main ones you would like sort of want to do. So um, I hope this has sort of helped. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much because obviously I've been going on for ages and I, I'm starting to not actually feel well to be fair. So I'm, I'm just going to stop the video now. Um, if you do want a, a, a little bit more in-depth one, then I will do another one, just not today. Um, so please like and comment and I'll see you in the next video then. Peace.